welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am in a different location than normal. I am staying with my parents in San Antonio for the holidays. Figuring out a filming logistics is a little bit stressful when you're not controlling your own schedule or your filming location. So I thought it could be fun to go ahead and utilize being in a whole new area and test out all the very popular coffee shops in San Antonio to see which carries the best matcha. So I'm gonna try them, review them, rate them, and let you know what I think about their interior, their vibe, the whole shebang. So without further ado, let's get on into it. The first place we visited was Five Points Local, which is kind of a coffee shop, but also more of a restaurant. Also, it's a yoga studio. It's a weird mix. I have celiac disease, so I always like to go there when I visit town because they are 100% gluten-free. They have a lot of vegan options, vegetarian options. It's really cute inside. We ended up sitting on the patio because we brought our dog. The food is incredible. The atmosphere is really cool. It's pretty busy a lot of the time. We waited in line for about 10, 15 minutes until we got to put in our food order and put in our drink order, but we got food and matcha, and all in all, these are my thoughts. We got a chocolate paleo tort, and I'm very excited to try it. Paleo means? No refined sugar, no grain. Basically the only things that you would find from nature. Oh. oh. Actually it's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It is. You're right. Very rich, very, very moist. Rich. Yes. It's like a brownie. Yeah, it is. It's like oh. a giant brownie. I can't believe I'm saying, but pretty good. Okay, here we got an iced almond milk matcha latte. Came in a mason jar, very cute, very Austin, even though we're not in Austin. From first glance, you can kind of see the little matcha particles, but it looks pretty well combined. I added a little bit of honey, not too much. Here it goes. I just had something sweet though, which might throw off the taste. Oh, it's not very rich. It tastes pretty diluted, like they didn't put a lot of matcha into it. The sweetness level's good, the texture's good. It's creamy, it's not like gritty. It feels like a beginner's matcha. Like it would ease you into the taste of matcha. It's not super concentrated, but I like it. Oh, it looks like a lot of the sediments at the bottom. Good, I think it's like not too sweet. Yeah. It hides some of the earthy taste of matcha. Because it's pretty it's diluted, good. right? I like it. What would you rate it out of 10? Not real rich. Yeah, that's my thing. Six and a half? Six and a half. I feel like that's pretty fair. I was gonna, I was gonna go about a six. Okay. Yeah, it's not offensive, but it's no. not out, yeah. outstanding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, we went to local coffee. Local coffee has kind of become the main artesian coffee in San Antonio. I think they have five or six locations in San Antonio alone. For their coffee, they serve Merit coffee, which has become a very popular type of bean. One of my favorite locations of local coffee is in the Pearl Brewery. The Pearl Brewery is my favorite spot in San Antonio. It's one of the like super trendy spots, which are a little bit harder to come by in San Antonio. So I feel more at home, like I'm back in LA because everything is very well curated and it's just adorable. Local coffee, great atmosphere. It was by far the most quiet coffee shop we had been into. Very good for studying, not so great if you wanna go hang out and chat with friends. <laughs> Matcha is not on their menu, but they do have it. I was very pleasantly surprised. Here are my thoughts. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, Ramona. I reach through mysterious ceilings, my only hope. I look for. We're here at Merit Coffee. Is it local coffee or Merit Coffee? Local coffee that it's serves Merit. Local Merit. coffee that serves Merit Coffee. And I got a hot oat matcha latte, and mom got an iced coconut matcha latte. They did not ask if we wanted sweetened, right? Right. So, they said it doesn't come with sweetener. Oh, so it's completely unsweetened, I suppose. We'll see if that's true or not. We got it into go cups because we have to leave here soon before anybody says anything. I'm sorry. Okay. Ooh. This is very reminiscent to Blue Box. This is really, really good. Not surprised. I love this place. It's almost completely unsweet, but 
but it's not bitter. It's smooth. The oat is a great oat milk. I love that. Do you mind if I try your? Not at all. These are made from plants and compostable. They have like sonic ice, like the little crushed ice, which is the opposite of what Blue Bottle does because it melts faster and it dilutes. Oh. Oh, that one's pretty sweet. The coconut milk is sweet. The okay. coconut milk is sweet. Ooh, I mean, it's great. This is like a dessert and this is like awesome. I would give this atmosphere a 10 out of 10. It's a little quiet and I feel dumb walking in here. I would give this matcha like a solid nine out of 10. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's not overly sweet. I feel like it's very authentic. We'll get mom's opinion too. What do you think? I don't know, that's a lot. I mean, it's not, it's a, it's a little sweet. You maybe should have tried the unsweet first, huh? Maybe should've. What do you think? Wow, unsweet and it's not that awful. <laughs> I would agree with the 9 out of 10 because I think I have a 10 in mind somewhere. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, I like that. The next spot we visited is called Indie Coffee and it is really close to UTSA, which is University of Texas San Antonio, one of the only bigger colleges in San Antonio. San Antonio doesn't have a huge college, but that is probably the largest. It is cute. You would never expect it or find it. It's kind of in a more residential area that's full of, you know, college student housing, apartments, all that type of thing. And it's in a tiny little strip center and basically a neighborhood. I love the atmosphere. It's pretty small, only a few tables, but I just think it's so cute and eclectic. It's very Austin, but it also kind of stays true to the Southern theme. There's a little bit of like ranch elements. Their uh, whole logo is a horseshoe, but it's definitely a cute, cute place. Their atmosphere, the music was very loud. So you could definitely go there to hang out with friends. Might not be the best of a study environment. It was definitely not a good filming environment. In fact, I filmed outside on a windy day. So I hope you can hear my thoughts, but nevertheless, here they are. As a young girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I really hope the wind doesn't ruin this audio, but we are at Indie Coffee Club and they do have matcha on their menu. It's so cute outside, so I got a hot matcha latte. Um, he did it in the ceremonial little matcha bowl, so he did it the right way. He did add simple. It looks like a lot, but also simple can kind of look like more than it is, so we'll see. This tastes exactly like the one I make at home. Seriously? Like almost exactly. In a good way? Um, the foam is not very like sturdy. It feels almost like I whipped it at home. The matcha is very, very strong. Oat milk is good. You want to try it? Sure. It's, it's a very strong matcha, which I like it. I personally would give this one a seven and a half out of ten. I thought I only liked cold matcha, but I like it. It's good for hot matcha. I'd almost give it an eight. An eight? I still think that so far local coffee is the best, but I love the inside of this place, and it's a really like hidden gym. I wouldn't expect for it to be here. Last but not least, we went to Rosella Coffee. This is kind of on the Riverwalk, kind of downtown San Antonio. It's a cute spot. There's two stories of seating downstairs and upstairs. There's a patio. They have wine and beer also, so you could, you know, go for your caffeinated drink or go for your alcoholic drink. Whatever you're in the mood for, they got you covered. The atmosphere is cute, it's homey. It's not excessively trendy or, you know, modern, but it does feel like home. They have a couple quirky elements, some, some funny art like an octopus that's holding real coffee cups. <laughs> it's just a very welcoming, homey environment. And their matcha, let's see what I thought. I know that you all alone in this world but you have to put your trust into us and we will help you through cause we only want what's best what's best for you we are at Rosella Coffee. I just got a hot oat matcha latte. Mom got an iced coconut matcha latte. I got it unsweetened. They said I can add my own simple if I want to. From first look, it looks a little pale. So does yours. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it will really be a strong matcha, but we'll see. It's very weak. It's weak? It's very weak, but I like it. It's not bitter. It doesn't need sweetener. The oat milk's good, but that's kind of the only flavor I get. It doesn't beat local. Ah. Local's still my favorite. I would give it I would give it a seven. Can I try yours? Is that okay? Sure, absolutely. Try it. Mom got a paper straw. It's paper. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's good coconut milk. The coconut milk is slightly sweetened, but it is very weak. 
I think it's good for like someone that's never had matcha before to like ease them into matcha, you know? <laughs> the last one that I had was way too strong. This one's a little too weak. I feel like local was like a good in between. Yeah, but you've had this before. Yeah. What's, what's yeah. your thoughts? Okay, now that she's opened my mind to all of her matcha everywhere, let me see. I still like this one so much. Give it my top maybe. What a ten. Nine. Nine? Yeah. There you go. You have varying opinions for someone that really likes strong matcha, someone that likes more mellow yeah. matcha. Yeah. But it's good oat milk. Overall, those are my thoughts. If there's any other coffee spots that you'd like me to try next time I come visit my family back home in Texas, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. I'm actually still really tired, so I might go get a second matcha for the day. Especially talking about matcha all day makes me want more matcha. <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.